Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic or TGFE Productions. Um, I'm Oakley Hadev, so it's a pleasure to meet you guys. Um, I've made some appearances before on some videos, but it's been kind of fleeting. So this is going to be our first official meet and greet. Um, I'm Oakley Hadev. Uh, real name is Julian. I'm guessing half of you have already figured that out. But anyways, it's nice to meet you guys. Uh, I guess it's cool to see me in person. Anyways, this video is going to be part of our Inside YouTube series where we're going to take you inside YouTube. Um, and do sort of background stuff like this, get to know me, get to know the other people of THFE. I'll have a roommate video, an apartment video, but we're also going to do tutorials on YouTube and teach you lessons about stuff we've learned through YouTube. So a bit about me, um, as I said, my name is Julian, so that's spelled with an E. I'm actually French. I have dual citizenship, bitches, so, uh, you know, I'm French, parents are French, but I was born here in the States, so I consider myself to be more American than anything. So I was born here, born on the East Coast actually, uh, in DC, so maybe there are some of you there. Uh, I lived there for most of my life. Uh, and then I came to California, which is where I'm at right now. You can see the weather outside, it's super nice out. Um, yeah, I'm right in San Luis Obispo, so now I'm in California for college. Uh, and I'm studying mechanical engineering, so that's a fucking pretty heavy subject. You can see right here, just do me. So I'm an engineer, engineering wizard, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, I do all sorts of stuff. So. Uh, right now, I'm a second year, so this is general concentration for now. You know, you have your basic routine stuff, physics, the math series, calc series, um, you do chemistry, you do all sorts of stuff. Cool design, um, you can see right here, a lot of the design stuff that I've worked on in the past has been learning how to draft. We do SolidWorks, which is 3D modeling, which is cool. It's kind of in line with the forging that we do in Halo, so I've actually had a lot of um, practice with forge for spatial relationships. Um, and dim dimensioning stuff and how to get, thing get things to go together smoothly. So actually there's a lot of um, sort of connections between those two. But anyways, that's what I'm doing in school right now is mechanical engineering. Um, so engineering, you can do a lot of kind of stuff. Uh, you have to be strong in math and science, which I was in high school, and I love designing and creating things. So that, you know, you can see that with Forge. Um, and that's kind of where I, I want to go with my engineering. I'm going to go into renewable energy. That's what I want to do. So. Um, Last summer I actually did an internship with the company Lighthouse Solar and I helped them do, so they're solar installers uh, and they do the, the business side of things. So they don't produce the panels, they install them and they do the business models. So I worked with them, helped them with Google SketchUp to do models, 3D models of houses. I put the panels on the roofs, put them south facing, the correct tilting that we wanted. I estimated the production cost, the um, energy it would produce. Uh, and then I made a whole business proposal for them. So I did all sorts of stuff. I'm starting to get, in, to get into the field of renewable energy. I've taken courses with PG&E and stuff like that. So I'm getting into that field and that's what I want to do. But a bit more about me. Um, what I did in high school, so sports wise, uh, soccer used to be my first sport. You know, started as a little kid, you play um, with your teams and it's just, uh, it's hectic. And I never really got past that initial stage. Um, I was also, uh, I was a fast kid. So I ran track, but uh, in soccer, I was a stopper or um, right fullback, so I played for a while in high school and then I kind of dropped out because I wasn't that great. Uh, I did track for a while, cross country track, I did the 100, the 4x100, uh, long jump, stuff like that. I was pretty good at that, I was pretty athletic. And then I ended up switching into crew. So for those of you who don't know, crew is rowing. You know, you see the guys on the boats, you don't see it everywhere, um, but it's a really nice, intense sport. Um, you do a lot of hard workouts, so I got into really good shape because of that. Um, we had a really great team. Uh, we ended up going third at Nationals, we won the East Coast Finals at Stotesbury, and we got people who got recruited to Dartmouth, to Navy, to Yale, uh, to Harvard, so we had a really good team. Um, but I decided to go with engineering instead of sports because, um, I mean, my shoulder was getting fucked up by the end of it. I was just, I'm a, we were in an eight boat, so I was starboard, I was three seat. So I was pulling on this side and I just destroyed my shoulder. So I ended up not being able to really pursue crew, and I knew I didn't want to do that as you know my life's goal. I wanted to do engineering, and you can't do crew with engineering really. It's hard to balance because both are huge time commitments. So I chose um, engineering, which I, I'm happy with, uh, and I'm going to do a lot of stuff with that. Um, I've already done welding, machining, um, all sorts of projects. Uh, it's just really cool, the stuff you can do. Um, other things you might want to know about me, um, like I said, I have dual citizenship. I've traveled a lot throughout Europe. I have a, an, a French ambassador who's my uncle. Um, so that's cool. We've been to Vietnam. We've been to Africa. I've been to almost all of the uh, continents around the world. I've traveled extensively through the US, um, hiking, backpacking. Uh, I was actually an Eagle Scout, so that's kind of cool. Um, there's probably a few of you who are Eagle Scouts who are doing scouting. Um, and then besides that, you know, 
Um, now that I'm here in college, I study engineering, takes up a good amount of my time. Uh, what do I do on campus? So, um, a lot of stuff. I mean, I, we mix it up. Uh, obviously, school is priority. I do that. Um, this quarter is pretty fucking heavy. I have thermodynamics. I have intermediate dynamics. I have material properties. I have uh, technical writing for engineers. So I have all these heavy engineering courses with a lot of homework, which takes up most of your time. But I mean, besides that, look at the weather outside. We take advantage of it. Uh, we go down to the beach. We surf. Um, we go down to the beach to swim. We got a pool down there we can go and chill at. There's a gym to go work out in. Uh, we go hang out with friends, play volleyball, do whatever. So, you I mean, outside of school, I'll do a lot of outdoor activities, stuff like that. I mean, take advantage of it. You have to. Outside of that, I'm part of a couple clubs. Um, not a fraternity. I don't have time for that. I mean, I, I've thought about joining a frat, but I'm not going to do it. I just don't have time. Um, but I'm involved with a number of clubs around campus. So mostly sort of engineering-based clubs and stuff like that. Uh, but one of the main clubs that we're a part of, uh, I say we because me and a couple friends are in that, is uh, Ski Club. So 99% of the time is spent actually not skiing. And it's essentially a party club where it's uh, guys and girls show up and whatever. And we go to these trips and we party. Um, recently we went to Brighton. Uh, that was for a small trip, but they go to Las Vegas. They do all sorts of stuff. They have houses where they'll just go out and party. Um, they have a, a, earlier this year they had a crazy party um, out on like someone's ranch or something. Uh, we had a slip and slide made out of plastic bags and tarp and it was driven down with stakes and kegs holding it down on the other side. So it's like a fraternity, um, except without the douchiness and you have girls as a part of it and it's actually really fun. People have a great time. People are super chill. Um, so that's, you know, the bulk of our partying. We go up and down the coast to go see concerts, Wiz Khalifa. We saw Swedish House Mafia when they were touring. Uh, we went up to San Francisco for that. Otherwise, I mean, we're right between San Francisco and LA, so we can drive to either for big events. And then when the artists are coming through, they'll stop by uh, in the area. So we'll do all, all sorts of stuff like that. I mean, otherwise the campus, um, you have groups that put on foam parties, who put on all sorts of stuff like that. So we'll go see that uh, talent show is right down there. Uh, my friend who plays the guitar goes down there and sings too. So you know there's so much stuff to do uh, in terms of social life. Um, and of course YouTube plays a part in this. I mean daily I'm on just checking our stats, answering comments, and then also making videos. So that throws into my extra time. Uh, and that leaves me pretty fucking busy. So um, yeah that's mostly what we do here on campus. You know social life definitely active. Um, engineering takes up bulk of the other time and then YouTube rounds it off and then you know we go on trips or whatever. Great campus, I love it. But music I like, old school I used to love, Linkin Park, Blink-182, um, 30 Seconds Mars, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, um, Thrice, all sorts of stuff like that. But lately I've gotten into more, um, a little bit of dubstep but more electronic type of music and I'll put the, a link up to a channel that I found. Uh, Mr. Suicide Sheep, so it sounds depressing, but they have a lot of cool music that they put up there and I found a lot of resources for that. Um, anyways, other stuff about me, so I guess we'll talk about movies, music, stuff like that. Um, in terms of movies, favorite movie has to be Gladiator. Um, two favorite HBO documentaries would have, or not documentaries, but uh, film series, miniseries have to be Band of Brothers and the Pacific. Those are fucking amazing. I would watch them uh, again in a heartbeat. I would recommend them to you guys. Borat right there. That's also, one of, this is one of my favorite movies. I like it very much. It is good. Uh, so I, I love Borat. I love, um, you know, Bruno wasn't maybe the greatest, but uh, The Dictator and stuff like that. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen, I, I love his act. Stuff like that. Um, yeah, other movies, I mean, of course, Black Hawk Down. Um, anything, you know, action movies, I love. Uh, that's mostly my thing. Uh, comedies, of course, but um, and then I have a younger brother who's like three, two and a half years younger than me. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So now I'm doing this whole YouTube thing and I'm just happy to do it. I basically had no audio, video, editing skills whatsoever. The only thing I came into YouTube knowing how to do was basically Photoshop. So I am an artist. I do artwork on the side, sketches and stuff like that. I mostly sketch um, and you guys saw my speed art that I did. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that I like to do and the Photoshop skills is what I transitioned um, into YouTube with. But besides that, I mean, all I knew how to do was to forge um, and I had to build the commentary skills. As you can see now, I'm comfortable in front of a camera and whatever, but at first, you're kind of like looking into the camera and you're like, oh, this is just awkward. And then you speak slowly, like this. So, I, you know, we've developed a lot since then and we've come a long way. 
Um, and, you know, I'm just glad to get to know you guys, but I wanted to keep this video short, you know, a brief introduction anyways, getting to know you guys. So in the comments below, make sure you leave uh, your questions. I'll try and answer them either there or make another video about it. Um, you know, this is just a great forum to interact with you guys. It's easy to do, and I think it's better that you guys get a, you know, you put a face to the, um, to the voice that you guys have been hearing for a while rather than just, you know, a fucking Spartan armor or whatever in some video game. I think it's better that you get to know me on a personal basis and I might get to know you a bit better. So anyways, thanks so much for tuning in guys. Um, make sure to leave a comment below about what you think. And yeah, if you have any things you want to know about YouTube, put that in the questions below and we'll take into consideration when we do our videos in the future. Otherwise, stay tuned for the videos where I show off my apartment. If it's not up yet, you know, if it is, I'll probably put the link up here somewhere or in the description. Check our playlist called Inside YouTube. Again, thanks so much for your support guys. You guys are the greatest. I'll see you guys around. Uh, peace out.